The city council announcing a bill today to cap classroom capacity over the next three years. Antoine Lewis tells us why some local lawmakers and the teachers union are pushing for the smaller size rooms as more students head back to their buildings this fall. Concerned that the three foot social distancing requirement cannot be properly enforced when school starts, City Councilman Mark Traeger is proposing legislation to reduce the size of New York City classrooms. According to the DOE, the average number of students in classrooms is about 26 students. Traeger wants that number cut down to 14 or 21 students, depending on the square footage of the classroom. Class size is a public health issue. And our ability to provide all of our kids a safe, healthy, equitable education is a public health priority for the city of New York. United Federation of Teachers President Michael Mulgrew supports the bill, saying educators were calling for smaller classrooms to deal with overcrowding even before COVID-19. However, with classroom reduction comes the need to hire additional staff, as the Department of Education is already facing a teacher shortage. We asked Mulgrew to address the hiring challenges. Let's just say giving it to outside contractors for years was probably not the best thing. Working with the city university and state university been a much more effective program uh, and I think what we're pushing right now is to revamp the entire hiring process but and then we'll take it from there. In a statement to Fox 5 the DOE said class sizes are capped to ensure every student gets the individual attention and space they need. We're making historic investments to hire more teachers build new instructional space and support smaller class sizes. We will review this proposed legislation. Public school parent Joanne Batista supports the bill. Small class is going to be beautiful for them good for us and we're going to feel more comfortable. And Diane Perrin works in a public school building. We have to reduce the class size. It was a good idea before COVID. It's still a good idea. The legislation calls for 33% of New York City schools to be in compliance by September of 2022, with full compliance 100% by September of 2024. Reporting from Lower Manhattan, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.